Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 27 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Got just over the halfway mark now, so we're starting to get there in the campaign. However, as I've already pointed out, we do have access to the final mission now. So we're sort of on the down downhill stretch now a bit. Got a little bit of Blackstone. Should only get one, maybe two upgrades on. So let's have a little look who we're going to go for. He's already got some good stuff. I think, who's our arc attack guy? This chap. Have we got a bigger arc gun? Yeah, that gun that we got at the end of the last one. When hitting target, turns into a circle area attack. Oh, and target's movement is hard. Yeah, I think we can have a little giggle with that. Not quite an upgrade as such, but still. How's Minaris doing? We don't have a bigger physical attack gun yet, do we? Leonardo's has got his big power field generator now. I think we might give him an upgrade so we can get some better pokey stick action going on here. Well, that looks like a pretty good upgrade. I have two damage to all tech priests or two energy and physical armor for one round. Okay, so let's get him a better cognition stick, I think. Let him poke some more points out of the enemies. There we go. Right, next upgrade is 572. We've got enough. There we go, 472, that's better. We want to leave a little bit in the bank for deployment. Can do this chat then. Oh, we'll go for this. Work towards this one. That's quite a handy little perk. Is that one of extra movement? What trousers has he got on? Those ones. Free HP, free movement. Okay. Cool. We were doing that more to get the um the augment slot anyway. Um, what we're going to give him, though? A better one of them, maybe. Let's think, what's his job? What's he got so far? He's the troop support guy. Something that can help us a bit more with that, really. Which I don't think there is. Nope. Let's just go for a better Coratio. Uh, is that the two? Yeah, that's the two. Cool, we'll keep the rest of our Blackstone, go towards the next load of upgrades. Right, what have we got on the cards today? We've got another one with additional slot for submission deployment. We're not doing too bad on that front at the moment, to be honest. I like the look of that gun, it goes through units and walls. It's going to cost 5 cognition to use. It's pretty steep. This could be a good one. Get a better cognition stick. Tempted by that one as well, with a level 3 infiltrator. What's this? Cone area attack. I think I'm going to do this one. We've had this one lying around for a while. Just have one just to get it done. Get rid of it. See what else it gives us afterwards. Um. Yeah, that's a dude, isn't it? Oh, 
But in all the flayed ones, it says. Oh, it's okay, we can do that. Okay, what have we got then? We got one, two encounters. Can we go straight up the middle? No, we've got to do some wiggling. Just give me a quick hit. No, we don't want to go that way. That takes us through there, so we have to come this way. Okay. The Squall of Skitari has been forced by injuries to abandon its post holding a key passageway leading deeper into the tomb. If it is left undefended, the Flayed Ones might have another way out of the lower levels, enabling them to avoid the Cohort's vengeance. Expeditiousness. Keep moving, trusting in speed to catch out the main body of Flayed Ones below. Examination. Search the area for the Skitari survivors to return to their post. Explosives. Collapse the passageway with demolition charges. Hmm. I think we might blow it up. That sounds like fun. Passageway is duly demolished, but the cohort sustains injuries in the blast. Valuable materials are salvaged from the rubble as they perform triage procedures. Well, we only lost one HP on all units, but it's only one. But we have got ourselves a new axe. Which looks awesome. 5 to 7 damage. Machine Spirit strips free armor. Brilliant. That's the right result. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the age sealant used to contain the treasure within. One of our servitors has got his HP back. Okay, straight into the first encounter then. Two glowy doors, played one destroyer, played one Praetorian, played one Praetorian. This is one of lots of scan terminals. We've got four, we've got a bit of cognition here and here. Not there for some reason, which is a bit odd. Got no cognition, so no troop deployment yet. So even though my mission is to kill all enemies, I really want to make a big push up to these terminals. More to get the Blackstone than anything. Cool, we're getting two cognition from his stabby stick now, it's brilliant. Could advance a bit, but I quite like to stay there. Keep him in combat. Oh, Benaris. Can you see both of them from there? I think he probably can. Now he can get all cognition, so let's get all that over here. 
Let's oh, this is a quick test. Ah, uh, see, he's only going to get one of them. Should be checked there. Let's have another look. Look, yeah, we've got them both now. Get a power field generator on for a bit more damage. Cognition freedom, make it cheaper. Pretty good. Poke him out of the way. Uh, I think we'll lock this guy into a bit of combat. Now, because this one's invisible, I think I'm just going to push him all the way to these terminals. cognition left so I don't think we're going to go do all of them I don't know we've got another cup of cognition now here we go so apart from that one we've got all the black stone from them now which is good we're not in a massive rush to blow them up, so we're only a little bit into our awakening level. Alright, whilst we're here now, let's start laying down the law. Oh, we can't. Okay, can we now? Yes, we can. Got a bit of armour on him. It's okay. Our next gun goes through armour, so that's fine. Yeah, let's just should we stay there? Should we go in? Oh, let's go in. We're here. He's gonna jump away in a bit anyway, I'd imagine. Kill him with the gamma pistol shot here. And then we can get our next shot on, on these guys over here. Make best use of those energy enhancers. That's perfect. I like that. Okay, bit of cognition freedom. Let's reveal the stats. So we've got three physical armor. Okay. Okay, so hopefully we can maybe finish that guy off. Get a two. Go and get two. Yeah. Now we can get a shot on one of these guys as well. Can I see him from there? Doesn't seem to be a red X on it. Yeah, we go. We've got a lot on the side. Brilliant.
cog out would be nice. Oh well. Let's see if we can reach that. Yeah, we can. We get one cog back. Cool. Uh, I guess we could use a servo scale and get the other one then. Oh, we've still got one log over here. Whew. It'd be nice if we can blow up one or two of these. Get a stabby stick we do. Okay, so I can see that terminal from here. We've got the line of sight. Have a shot with the other gun as well, so we can finish it off. Yeah. There you go. We only had time to get one blown up. That's still a little bit better than none. A Necron artifact resembling a large globe inscribed with glowing runes lies half buried in a mass of decaying trash in this chamber. Destroy. Destroy the artifact. The works of a Xenos must be annihilated. Detect. Examine the artifact. It may contain precious information on the enemy. Or disregard. Ignore the artifact. Tampering with it may be dangerous. Uh, it could be a bit dangerous, but be nice to get something from it. Let's see if we can detect something. One of the troopers depresses a panel on the side of the artifact and a section of it opens up to display a hollow-like image of a huge and heavily armoured Necron form. The Necron collapses, its shape deforming and blistering as if a hollow image was showing the process of infection greatly sped up. The hollow cuts out, but the sight is disconcerting enough to rattle the cohort's spirits. So initiative's gone up a little bit. That's alright. Okay. I don't think we need to do one of these optional ones. We're only on Awakening Level 1. Oh, red one. Many female ports cover the outer shell of this Necron panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. So let's see. Free cognition. Hey. If I think we needed it, we look full. Bring these guys up a bit. There's only 15, you can sit back. And we do have lots of cognitions, so let's get some troop units in. Okay, so what we got? At the moment, no enemies. So where are they going to pop up from? There's no glowy doors. Doesn't look like there's anywhere platforms can come back up here. Wow, this is going to be interesting. That's just going to be flayed ones crawling up the side of the walls of it. Um, let's preempt so no one's turning up. Let's get the bubble up. Four rounds, easy. It's only flayed ones. Okay, 
minutes, how's that gone? Got like three rounds to get this done before our, um, our awakening goes back up. That says we can hit him from here. Oh, we can. Brilliant. Let's do some of that. I'm not forgetting that power field generator for the extra damage. Burn them. How come that one didn't... That I'm not getting clipped in? Pain in the ass. Alright, no cognition sources either. Okay. That was lucky. Oh, these dumb shits trying to move. Um, is this one up here? Heal him up, this is our last encounter now. Save our Blackstone. Cool, what's that? Restore? No, we don't need that. Got no cognition. Uh, he's on full health, that's good. this guy up. Goodbye. He's gone. Alright. Get rid of that one. Should have got rid of that one. Dealt one damage. Oh well. That's gonna hurt our guy. Oh bugger, can't do that then. Just a little bit first, dude. I saw a slap of cans come on. There we go. Job done. I think all of our guys have full health. Mission complete. Finally, the last of the flayed ones in the area falls, temporarily reducing their active population in the tomb of Abjau. The remains litter the tomb, leaving chunks of bloody flesh and shreds of skin behind as they teleport away. With luck and the will of the Omnissiah, the Skatari will be able to keep the numbers of flayed ones at a manageable level. Videx is happy. So is Fustinius. 
Brilliant. Everyone's happy. Yeah, we'll kill that. No Blackstone loss at all. That's brilliant ending up on only the one I've ever. Was it one? Yeah, I think it's just a one. Got the Omni Specs. I'm level 2 Rust Orca now. Which isn't too bad. Um, it's not until you get to the level 3 guys that really make themselves worthwhile, but he's got a little bit more armor, a little bit more HP on him, so that's not bad. Well, there we have it, guys. Much shorter episode today. I was only like 25 minutes long there. Um, I'm just trying to clear out a lot of these earlier missions that we've had for a while. I think most of them are done now. That noise reductor we've had for a while. And I think this one. Yeah, is it this one? Maybe that one as well, but we've got a couple now that we've had around line for a while, so we want to get them done because they're all going to be there. So, the quicker we can get them done, the easier it is just to move on forward. So, I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leaving some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.